This video shows you how to view project details in CityWater. The various tabs of the project details page show inputs and settings for a hydraulic model project. After logging into CityWater, you will land on the projects page, which shows all the hydraulic model projects associated with your organization. Each project has a name, description, date, creator, and, if the upload was successful, a map button. For each project, there are two fundamental views accessible from this page, the project details view and the map view. This video addresses the project details view. Let's explore the project details. To view project details, click on the name of the project in the list. This is the project details view. Note the menu on the left with options to return to the projects page and create a new scenario. CityWater administrators in your organization also have options to edit or delete projects. The project details view displays information, settings, and inputs from the original EPA net model file that was uploaded for this project. It also displays a few select simulation outputs. This is all preloaded information that is for viewing only. Any edits must occur in the native EPA net file before uploading. The project details are organized with several tabs along the top of the page under the title Project Details. We are currently on the Summary tab and will explore each tab in order. The Summary tab shows general information about the project, its name, description, and upload details. The name and description should identify the water system, the demand scenario, and the time period being modeled. Other areas on this page summarize information from the actual EPA net model file that was uploaded. Under model parameters, we see flow units, head loss method, quality parameter, if any, and time steps. Under nodes, we see the number of junctions, reservoirs or water sources, and tanks in the model. Under links, we see the number of pipes, pumps, and valves in the model. Note that the number of valves does not include isolation valves. Nodes and links are the most basic model elements which are shown in the map view. Finally, we see a summary of the average water demand in the model. Let's now move to model options on the next tab. This tab shows further information about the uploaded model, including global options for hydraulics and computation, as well as time options. Let's go to the Map tab next. The Map tab identifies the spatial reference system used in the model and shows a map preview. A button to Go to Map also appears on this tab. The map view is explained in other videos. An important part of this tab is the Annotations section. In the map view, users may add annotations to links and nodes, perhaps to indicate a pressure problem or to flag an incorrect pipe diameter. Those annotations will appear here on the map tab. The intent is to collect all the annotations in a single place for further review and action. Let's go to the schematic tab now. The schematic tab provides a link to a hydraulic schematic or profile which is automatically generated from the model file. This is a topic for another video. Next, go to the Curves tab. The Curves tab shows graphs of pump curves used in the model. Depending on your model, the curves may be a single point or an actual curve. A pump curve shows the relationship between flow rate and head, or efficiency. If multiple curves exist in your model, you may select them from the drop-down list near the upper left. There may also be efficiency curves. Options to print or download the chart are available from the menu near the upper right. Let's go to the next tab, Patterns, now. The Patterns tab shows time patterns, usually for water demand, found in the model. Each pattern has a time and a multiplier. Like the Curves tab, this one has a drop-down menu for multiple patterns and options to print and download the chart. Let's go to the Rules Control tab next. This tab shows rules and controls defined in the model. 
Usually these are set points to open and close pumps depending on some tank level or pressure. These should reflect actual controls for the model scenario in question. Let's look at the Energy tab next. The Energy report shows the results of EPANET's built-in energy analysis. It reports the utilization, efficiency, energy use, and energy cost of each pump in the model, combining the pump curves, efficiency curves, and prices given as inputs with the hydraulic results for flow and head. If the demand charge and cost appear as zero, it means price information was omitted in the model file. Go to the Run Summary tab next. This tab shows the report EPANet generates when running the simulation. It is a log of model settings, hydraulic calculations, warnings, errors, and results. Finally, go to the Export tab. On this tab, you have options to export certain model data, such as a shapefile of hydraulic results, a shapefile of the network map, and an EPANet input file. This concludes our tour of CityWater's project details area. Other videos will cover some of the features in more detail.